Jamaican actress Chantal Jackson has been revealed as the new cast member for British comedy Death in Paradise. According to the BBC, Jackson will play Naomi Thomas in season 11, a gifted officer who has arrived from a neighboring island to join the St. Marie Police Department. Chantal's character comes from a much smaller police force and according to the show's director, her inexperience might lead to some growing pains as she works with more established characters, Detective Sergeant Florence Castle and Detective Inspector Neville Parker. Death in Paradise, a BBC One comedy thriller, has been renewed for two more seasons. The cast is currently in Guadeloupe, where the filming began yesterday after days of quarantining in the island. Many are excited to see what will happen after a cliffhanging season 10 finale. Chantal is known for her role in Yardi, directed by Idris Elba, and the successful local production Sprinter by Storm Salter, which is currently on Netflix globally. <laughs> Breakthrough reggae artists Nation Boss and the ambition boss himself Yaksta today released their inspirational collab Emotions. Music producer Troublemaker spoke to E Prime on working with the two artists. Big up E Prime, thanks for having me. The collab came about a little over a month ago. Yaksta was very interested, Nation likewise, interested to work together. I'd made the track, I would say, at the start of the year. And um, when Yaksta came, came, pulled up at the studio, played the track, within 15 minutes he had his, his part of the song already done. Nation pulled up after. Um, and we just finished up the track you know it was amazing we worked on the video everybody was very enthused about the project and it's just a testimony right now that the hard work pays off you know we put in the work and delivered a good song and people love it and we're really proud about it emotions is currently out on all digital platforms <laughs> Al Barossi released for the culture over the weekend. The 14-track album features collabs with Carly Buds, Joe Mercer Marley, Willing Souls, and Big Mountain. Speaking with E Prime, Al Barossi says the album is dedicated to the Jamaican culture that he has taken as his own. Well, the album title, it's for the culture. And obviously, I'm celebrating the Jamaican culture, the reggae culture, the Rasta culture. But also, I'm celebrating the festivals. The brothers and sisters, the fans all over the world who loves reggae music. So that's their culture also, the reggae culture, the roots culture. So that's why I call the album so For the Culture by Alba Rosie. For the Culture was released by VP Music Group and is Alba Rosie's 14th album. He has been hands-on with his music, not only as the artist, but as a songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, producer and self-proclaimed dog mechanic. Data and reporting for E Prime.